Go on then. I mean, it, it was reasonable. I'll give you. I'll give you that. I'm doing it. It's staying. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Irrational Review. I am here at One Eye Jack Studios with the magnanimous Bobby Kane and the equally interested Vino Varez White. So it is my pleasure to do this <clears throat> once more time. Uh, once more time? Once more once time. time. Once more time. <laughs> we do this, we do this, yes. <laughs> it's like every week I can't speak. What is this? What it is, it's bro. literally, <laughs> I want to do it one more, <laughs> one time. more time for you. You know, I feel good for me. I will go for you. It is my pleasure to do this once more with these wonderful human beings that I like to call my best friends, sadly enough. There's, actually, that's, that's probably a two thirds of my sort of closest friendship circle, uh, I'd nice. like to say. This is one for the uh, for the homie. If I had a, a drink, I'd pour it out. I've got a Fanta, pour out the Fanta. He's this still is, alive. He's still he's, alive. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's just uh, occupado in, yeah. in parenthood. So uh, he's a good this man. was for you. But yeah, I, it's such fun doing this. And I thought we'd come back again this week and talk about some interesting things that have occurred. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure where to begin. Oh, actually, I know exactly where to begin. Ooh. Where we right. at? What's I mean, going I'll on? probably just hype this up a bit too much with my oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Just did, bro. Your fuse album was noted and uh, <laughs> go on. Come good, bro. It's You've just that exciting. Um, You've led heavy, so go on a bit. Be so good. there was a festival that happened very recently. Uh, at a takes place. Uh, where does it actually take place? What Coachella? Coachella. Yeah, oh, Coachella. Oh, um, somewhere in America. And what does Coachella take Isn't place? that the one in uh, Miami? We should know this. I, think, I should I know this. It's, really. it's definitely in Florida. Coachella is a big one in Florida. Yeah. Well, well either way, Coachella occurred. We don't need the postcode, do we? I don't know. Florida. America. This, it's not. It's somewhere desertous. Oh, desert. Oh, okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. See? Yeah. Fucking think oh, Tupac, the, California. The desert one I'm thinking of is Burning Man. So that, that video. Yes, that place. So that festival occurred. <laughs> <laughs> Two different festivals, bro. <laughs> right. Anyway, Coachella. So, yeah, yeah. We know of it. This week, Coachella Festival. Never been. We're talking about happened. Beyonce's. Yes. The big, the big And they hullabaloo. renamed it, didn't no, they? they? No, no. No? That's just, it's just a phrase that's coined, what, Baychella? Yeah. No, that's just the fucking... Bullshit. That's the, the, no. The tag it wasn't renamed Beychella. Everyone else still. Played no, I know Beychella. that. I'm not saying they literally went. I tell you what, we've got we've got Beyonce coming in. We've we got everyone, the brand has changed. Beychella. It was just because of the fact that the show that she performed was it's supposed to be the biggest show extraordinary. ever. Extraordinary. You know what? Again, I've probably watched about three seconds of it on Instagram because you know, as human beings, that's all we get. Yeah. But I haven't had the time they to go and actually the watch first it. Night, but not the second. Apparently, I say three seconds, but I mean a good fifteen minutes of all the videos. And I want to set aside some time to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Fifteen minutes is oh, a like long that's time. A, that's that's a currency in this day and age. Seriously. Yeah. But um, I've watched all the kind of uh, snippets on Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And honestly, I normally would scroll by, by past things, but this was spectacular. Was it that yeah. good? It was spectacular. I tell you yeah. why it was good, right? Oh, because I, these days, I as a performer shit, myself, um, I know how hard it is to pull off a show. I mean, I can just about do an hour and twenty minutes, and you know from seeing me at my one of my own shows. When I finish, I am like on the floor yeah. in the back. But she Wait. did like over two hours worth of yeah, costume solid. changes. Two hundred amazing. Dancing. She had two hundred dancers on the stage at one moment. She did yeah. a dance breakdown, a, her own like her own choreographer dance. Yeah. It was like a workout from some fucking. I never seen it, but yeah. people told me that yeah, she sweated. She put it's, the effort in. That's what makes it great. She I think worked. it's the fact that she put in such effort to the show. But again, we can all put in effort into a bunch of things, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be good. But the, the, the actual product has got to yeah. be brilliant. She right? had True. guests. She had what? Yeah. Eminem, Jay Z turn up. Yeah. And I, I mean, the Jay Z that's, that's, that's easy. Jay-Z has to turn up. <laughs> you're just going to be coming up or you're sleeping on a sofa. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're playing. Exactly. Yeah, Considering yeah, you're playing. the kind of trouble that he's been in lately, yeah, exactly. I think she says he has to do nowadays. Her sister probably made him. Oh, brutal. Because you make that motherfucker go on stage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how do you even get out of something like that? But let's not yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, that. Because yeah. I'm another I day for that for one. Reasons. I was only joking. I'm you know, sure. I mean, I'm <laughs> sure Jay's gonna be out. watching and going, "Yeah, you better watch it, son." No, yeah, yeah. We, we we talk, we talk regularly. I'm sure, mate. I'm sure. But I mean, if anyone else caught this, it was one of those moments that made me think of iconic performances by people like Prince, Michael Jackson, and of course, aptly so, they then coined the term Bay Chiller. And I tell you, it started getting me thinking about what. Beyonce represents, and I remember like loving Beyonce as a kid. I remember liking Beyonce. <laughs> no, oh, see, that's the difference. I didn't just like her; I loved her. Yeah, do you remember that? Actually, there was a kid in school. Actually, like I'll, I'll give you an example of just how much love this was. Do you remember there was a kid in our classroom who loved a particular group? We'll leave the kid's name out of it, but he loved Eternal. Do you remember this guy? 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah shit. See that? Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That so guy. The penny dropped. So basically, Vino and I. <laughs> oh yeah. shit. I have no idea. Vino and I were in the oh, same man, class. We were all in the same school. Way. And uh, in our class, it was the only all boys class uh, in the whole of that particular year. Come on. And this bro. one kid was an eternal fan. He would turn yeah. up in eternal t shirts, he'd turn up in eternal flipping Proper pens, friend. pencils, sing the songs, break out and song in the middle of the corridors. <laughs> and that was love. It, worked it out. was to the point where people out. just kind of worked out that he maybe. Went to my primary school. Got Did it he go to your primary school? He went to your primary school. Did we you, went to the you, same you primary went to the same school, school did yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a long day. I can, I can say that. Yeah. But That's that kind of love. But to the point where I didn't go in and sing the songs. It wasn't just about that. It was the fact that she seems to be an icon for a lot of women in the general. Queen of Sass, man. Yeah. She's just brought, like, basically, obviously, yeah. one of the most beautiful women in the game. Yeah. At the time, when she went, everyone suddenly went. At the time? Wow. Now. Yeah, no, but I mean, when that I first mean, came out, and then everyone was like, all right. Absolutely but beautiful. But since then, she's just been, like, this yeah. sort of, like, one of, she's got an incredible voice. Yeah. She's incredibly stunning. Yeah, and But she's first. got some nous about her, man. This she is, thing. She's, she's like the triple threat. But that's why, but that's why her and Jay-Z coming together was like this, oh, there's something's going to happen. Like, they, they're, they're, like, power two house, powerhouses right? in the game. I can't think of the last powerhouse that was like that. Can you, like, you no. know... Uh, well, for media coverage and stuff from this side of the pond, the Beckhams is the last one I can think of. Yeah, Beckham, I suppose so. yeah, but, They're not as big, but, then, but it's I, the biggest one I can think but of then this you, side of the world. It's like Bobby and uh, Whitney back in their head. Okay, yeah, they were like oh, massive. When yeah, they were like but they're sort of, but that was more like she was the singer, he was the producer. I know he did his own stuff as well. I don't know, the Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. Yeah. Well, I think the, yeah. the, the thing about them... By the them, time they it, got to... Get, like, and it was just such a car crash of a situation. Yeah, that's, that's what the thing about them is, really. It wasn't a powerhouse. Like, their, their power together yeah. sort of what destroyed them. Whereas... If anything, since Beyonce and Jay, I mean, they've been together a little, quite a while now, considering the, the showbiz normal lifespan of a relationship these days. Yeah, it was about five minutes. Yeah, exactly. They've been together so long, but they've they've gone on to like what take over the world. Like he's he's yeah. he's because they, they understand they, dynasty, innit? Title like. How oh, do you mean by dynasty? What, what do you mean? It's it's a thing where where you, you, it's it's a wealth building and influence building, and they both understand it because she got a lot from her dad. And he learned he's a lot. some like genius. In, yeah, he's, in a, he's a really good businessman. He's yeah. the reason why Destiny's Child became a thing, basically. Yeah, he was it wasn't for him. Thing, yeah, like it wasn't sort of Michael Jackson's, Jackson's dad, um, yeah, and the way that he engineered the Jackson. Yeah, program, exactly. If it wasn't for him, we would not know Michael Jackson. So too. she stands alone. Beyonce alone stands for so much. I yeah. think that's what kind of struck me. I mean, because she, she she can take a two years, a year out and stuff, and come back and produce Still, a show like that, and it's yeah. absolutely amazing. But it's also and I just want to celebrate something like that for sure. She, amazing. But it's also and the, she reinvented the whole feminist uh, movement. Like, yeah, there was a time which, when songs like "Single Ladies," yeah, yeah, and all that sort of stuff. That powerful yeah. women, you know, yeah. there was, you had the girl power that yeah. came out of Spice Girls, and everyone yeah. was like, "Yeah, girl power," and that was good again because it made sort of like everyone was sort of like pigeonholing feminists into a certain rigid bracket and then then it was like girl power girls celebrating you know just like having fun and being allowed to have fun and being cool with it yeah but then uh it re like regalvanized that spirit of like girl power with like real strong women women in a business position women like you yeah know, making which it for work. some reason was ludicrous to some people but to me it's it's ah oh man yeah, i, I hope that, that if if i ever have a daughter that she can have someone like Beyonce to look up to, and that's what that's what they well, should be more. And, and I think that's why this. That's the good thing about Beyonce. She knows that she's yeah. a role model, yeah. And she's she's worked on it. Like she, rarely, where rarely, I don't think, or ever, has there yeah. ever been a scandal with, with Beyonce? No, no, but no. it was it was. No, 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 no. I think there's probably been stories and that's stuff. That's good like PR. That. Yeah, but she, it's good PR. But and, and a great lawyer as well. Because <laughs> them NDAs, you don't miss a bat with them NDAs, bro. I bet. Some of the lyrics quite the NDAs, aren't they? You know what? It wasn't just the fact Beyonce was brilliant, and they named. Absolutely. So, so sorry for everyone else at the festival, though. Yeah, this, yeah. Everyone else yeah, like, oh, well, yeah, just, I, I played uh, as well. No, you didn't. Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, but just, no, no, Eminem was like, no, but I know I did a whole set on my own. You yeah. know, and I he he pulled out all the stops. He's supposed to have you, done some mega show. Oh yeah, didn't he? Uh, the weekend did one as well. Yeah, yeah. And and well, then you're supposed to be the biggest lineup at a festival for fuck damn. years. I tell you what's cool though, actually, is the fact that all the artists that were obviously there as well, they paid massive homage to. People like Adele was probably the next biggest sort of star alongside her. Actually, they're just probably on the same kind of, you know, uh, pl uh, playing field. Yeah, but, but she was kind of like, I mean, by opinion's sakes, I mean, in yeah, terms yeah, of yeah. The, the size yeah, of the your opinion, and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. whether you think one is better than the other is, you know, that's all relative. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 
It's just Beyonce's been around for a while. Yeah, She's damn. established. I mean, Adele's a G, and I genuinely yeah. love her attitude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think she's it's... such a diamond. <laughs> she reminds me of the, like, she's like the female version of you, to be honest with you. If, you if were... I had heart a quarter of an inch of her talent, I'd be the most uh, over the moon dude in the world. I just love so the way she you're interacts saying you with people. you missed out being Adele by basically a, a, 99% a less talent. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk a lot and I've got a bit of an accent, yeah. a London accent. But yeah. apart from that, I've got nothing else in common. Uh, I, st- I still think you're brilliant, regardless of the fact that you, well, you nice. don't sing like Godot. I think it's great. I think she's an absolute But it also G. got me thinking about things. But she was loving on Beyonce's set. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a yeah. proper fan. A couple, like a, a couple of videos and mm, stuff like that. She's a proper, proper fan, man. Dancing. Watching her watching on telly and just going, oh yeah. my God, yeah. be your fucking amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. I like that. It got me thinking about festivals in general and what like my first festival was and what my kind of first experience was. You were with me. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, that's true actually. Uh, and you were with same me. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, same festival. Same different festival. Year. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. basically, Bobby is a bit of a is a bit of a, a sort of facilitator slash leader slash. The first, when we were kids, it was the first to do things and the most brave one out of the lot of us. Because I don't Definitely. think I would have gone to Glastonbury Festival. I would not. Oh, we young, it wouldn't have been my thing. We were like, we were like what, 15? 15, 15, How old yeah. were you guys when you went? Older. We were, we were like 19. 19. Just so, when I was so a bit less stupid then. Yeah. Well, still stupid. But. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I mean, but considerably less. Because we left our... <laughs> yeah, I would we, say. We left our last school assembly. Yeah. Um, yeah you men did, yeah. We did. We just bowled straight out. Yeah. yeah. Left did, our... our, our School leaving thing, and everyone's like, Where are you? Yeah, everyone's yeah. signing t shirts. We were like, We're going Glastonbury, mate. Yeah, see you later. It was been yeah. nice knowing you. Straight the, the train. Five years. Boom. That that was, was I don't remember anything about it, but I think no? that was one of my. Nah, I don't remember much. It was. <laughs> I can remember. I know, yeah, I remember there's some photos of us as passed out looking very, very young. As, like asleep, obviously, not passed out. But. Uh... <laughs> we were, why are you hiding that? We were passed out. We were sleeping on a hill, passed out. Yeah, yeah. We, we were like this on the hill. We pitched <laughs> up on some ridiculous hill for no reason. Right? And we woke up in a corner. And we woke up in a corner, <laughs> huddled dangerously <laughs> close to each other. Yeah, like, in the sleeping bag. With my sort of like, was, your, yeah. No, I was, was I the spoon or the, the, what was it? No, we were just, we were both the mush. Yeah. There was just, we were just I enjoyed crumbled. the way you avoided that. That was yeah, great. No, yeah. There was no spoon. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be the big spoon because you're a little fella. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. I, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, let's move on from that. <laughs> we, saw, we saw some great people. I, I can't remember. <laughs> Just remembering all, all this, kinds of I mean, funny flashbacks. It's it's a bad flashback. It, it wasn't a comfortable time. The rest of the festival was fun. Yeah. We saw uh, <coughs> Underworld was probably the biggest, uh, the headliner uh, that we saw. I think, was it Underworld that year? Was that no, it no, wasn't, mate. It was for me. It was the one we went to, I think. When they did or was it Chemical Lager, Brothers? Lager, shouting, oh, no, the way that you went, yeah. I don't know. One, one of those. I mean, I think it was the Chemical Brothers. What did we? Did we see? We saw. We saw Paul McCartney. We saw Paul McCartney. And we and then we went to see uh, Toots. Toots and the Mitles. Yeah, 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 that was epic. Yeah, that was good. That was good. And I was, was having that awkward, did that awkward sort of romance. That's the same year we saw. Um, and that was funny as well. Oh, That's God. the same year we saw um, James Brown as well. James Brown. Hang on, James, James did Brown. You just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not pave over that section. Just whoa, 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 whoa. So I was busy changing the sighting on the camera there, and I just heard that you had an awkward romance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mate. Was, was this your so first funny. ever sort of like no, relationship? No. No. My first, uh, one of my first ever romantic I- I- exchanges was like, uh, not exchanges. Oh, that sounds weird. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I, I that had kind of a show, summer mate. holiday romance in uh, Spain where I went to a reggae festival years ago. Yeah. With uh, and we're still friends now. She's an absolute sweetheart, and she's got two kids, and she's got a good life. But uh, we, she, we went. We had our my one of my first romances ever was at a reggae festival in Spain, and that was wicked. Um, that was yeah. a good time. But no, I had this awkward one where I took some girl that I I thought we were friends. Um, well, Ooh. basically, me and V got tickets, and then she sort of said, "She's coming." She's coming. We were like, "Oh, cool, you're sure, coming." Yeah, cool. Yeah. Of course, you're coming you know. with your mates. You're coming with your mates, and then she was like, "All oh, right, uh, so can I sleep in your tent?" And we had a tent with two pods, one tent, two pods, and we were like specifically bought for that reason. For that reason, I've got a pod, he's got a pod. We're living the dream. Oh, so then she suddenly went. He was in one pod in his Jones. Yeah, Yeah. and And then then she moved into my pod. So she she brought no tent. No tent. Did she tell you that her intent is to bring no tent? No, no, not until... No, no, we got there and then she's like, not, yeah, where's the your tent? No, she turned up, she came with us on the train. She came with us on the train. I swear we met her at the no, gate. we did, we met her at the gate. At the very gate. We yeah, got yeah. there and we're like, oh, wow. shit. She, she was, was like, yeah. a bit of 
kind of avoided it in the already. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the, the smell of it, we won't talk about no! the smell. No! Not the tent, oh! bro! Whoa! No! Yeah, no, what are you going with this? It gets smelly. We all, everyone smells at a festival. It's grim. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's one thing that will be within my nostrils yeah. for life. Ever. It's not my favourite. <laughs> yeah. The long drop toilets, we won't talk about it. But... <laughs> Oh, that's an experience, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it was it was no. epic though. But I did I did I, it does take me back to those first awkward interactions with uh, when I was young. My with with the ladies. Because yeah, basically it? then anyway mm. she tried to make a move and then I said, Oh no. <laughs> and then she went, oh, it, all <laughs> what, went what? it just all you went, went really oh, hell no. Like, I didn't know hell no, I went, yeah. Oh no. Like because <laughs> uh, I just never saw us like that and then it went <laughs> Awkward. West. It went wet. It went it was aw- so funny. T- t- and then I was just like, I remember waking up one, I'm waking up one morning. She was asleep, and I just opened up the tent and saw V across the way, our little walkway, and he had his little pod, and he was like, and I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm in my pod just going, yeah, bro, that's you. Situations. She spent the rest of the festival absolutely off her nuts, yeah. like absolutely out of her face. And I was, we were 18 then. That was 19. 18, 19. And you were. Uh, like you were just trying to not get involved. Yeah. So we walked yeah, around. That's awkward as basically, hell. You know? I was just like, were just they, were, they were on a date, and I was just like, yeah, it was like, oh, yeah, and you were like a... third wheeling it. So yeah. at that point, you're like, there's no but way. It was my I first felt... time at the yeah, festival. Yeah, but it doesn't like... matter. It doesn't one... matter if if you know. It's she not... thought she was third wheeling with with two me and mate my my mate hanging out. Yeah. Which she was. Yeah. You thought you were third wheeling on a date, which you weren't, but it seemed like it you seemed were because like right, she yeah. was like glaring at you, like. Hey, fuck off. I'm like, I don't know it. nobody here but this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't going nowhere. And then I was there, just going, oh. So I just kept on moving the whole time. I was just like focusing <laughs> on the schedule, guys. Did not. Did that.